or I do not want a riff with America. But they have to go. Philippine they President Rodrigo Duterte called for the U.S. to withdraw its remaining military advisors from the country's southern island of Mindanao. He said the continued presence of U.S. personnel will complicate his efforts to fight Islamist militants. Duterte's remarks raised further questions about the relations between the U.S. and the Philippines, traditionally one of America's strongest allies in the region. The ties between the two countries are already strained. I do not have any master except the Filipino people. Duterte lashed out at President Barack Obama last week, prompting the administration to cancel their first planned meeting. He regrets that his remarks to the press have caused much controversy. Duterte's aide said he is attempting to craft an independent foreign policy, a U-turn from his predecessor. At the invitation of the Philippines, American service members will rotate through Filipino facilities. Under Benigno Aquino III, the Philippines had worked to expand its military relations with Washington. The two allies conducted military exercises and joint patrols of the South China Sea at a time of friction with China over the waters. U.S. forces have been stationed in the southern Philippines since 2002, training and advising Filipino troops in their campaign against Abu Sayyaf. The Islamic militant group is an affiliate of Al-Qaeda and recently declared allegiance to the Islamic State. The group said its sympathizers were responsible for a deadly bombing attack in Davao City, Duterte's hometown, earlier this month. The armed forces of the Philippines said Duterte's comments only affect a token group of U.S. servicemen, mainly stationed in Zamboanga City. Activities lined up for the year and beyond remain on track. U.S. officials in Washington said they hadn't received any official contact from the Duterte government. For as long as you stay with the West. But officials said they weren't taken by surprise at the comment.